everyone. I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 161. Welcome. Well, let's just jump right in, and I'll show you what I got done this week. Okay, so I have two finished objects this week to show you. Finished object number one is the llama tote that I've been working on. Okay, so I had finished the crochet part of it, but I still needed to do the uh, liner and um, put it together put the straps in and so I finished it here it is so here here's the straps I ended up using white straps now I will hold it like this so you can see it all so there is the front and then the back is got the stripe pattern on the back okay and then it is lined let me show you the liner I lined it with a gray houndstooth print, okay? So, fully lined. <laughs> so, there it is. Uh, I'll back up a little bit. Maybe you can, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see, but it's a big bag. <laughs> but I really like the way it turned out, okay? Uh, this llama chart I got from Make and Do Crew. It was actually, uh, well, they call it an alpaca, but I call it a llama. <laughs> but it came from a, uh, it was a corner to corner pattern. I actually did this, used this chart and made a corner to corner blanket with the same chart. And this time I just um, um, did uh, back and forth, you know, single crochet, did the basic graph gan type technique and it turned into a beach uh well not a beach bag but a bag <laughs> okay and then the back of course like i said stripes i just pulled out the colors that i used on the front and then i just alternated the stripes okay so that is finished object number one Finish object number two is preemie hat number two. These are the preemie hats I'm doing three per month to donate to our local NICU for their Halloween hat drive. Um, one of our local NICUs. And so uh, I'm doing three hats per month. Uh, last week I showed you hat number one, and that was the frog hat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the frog hat. <laughs> well, this week I did... Um, a candy corn hat now this was so fun to do it worked up so quick this is a YouTube tutorial by Jonna Martinez and I will link it in the description box below and um, I just use yarn that I had already and uh, the way I made it preemie size is I I think she uses like maybe an eye hook or something I'm not sure but wor with worsted weight yarn and her size uh, the she does the tutorial for is for size zero to three months and so I used the um, worsted weight yarn but I went down to a 3.0 millimeter hook <laughs> and um, it turned out a good preemie size um, hat so very happy with this so preemie hat number two for the month of July okay and that is all my finished objects that I got done this week. Um, so let's go on to our works in progress. Okay, so for works in progress, I'm still working on the baby corner to corner. Um, let's see. I'm on the decreases now, and I just finished my second skein of yarn. Okay, so this is, there's, here's how big it is so far. Uh, let me measure what side what the measure of one side is about 31 to 32 roughly inches and so I think that's going to be a good baby blanket size once once I put the border on it okay and so as you see I am on the decrease edge now because I've got some straight edges here okay and so I'm just about to start my uh, third and final skein of yarn this is the yarn I'm using this is uh, Lion Brand ice cream yarn, okay, and the colorway is cotton candy. And I bought this off on clearance, and I had three skeins of it, and so I used one skein, one full skein, and then I tried to use about roughly <laughs> about half of the second skein before I started decreasing or actually less than half because I want to make sure that uh, I do not run out of yarn with this last skein so I hope I don't <laughs> um, I think I think it'll be okay 
anyway I am on the decrease like I said so and of course with each with each row you get one um, uh, block smaller and so um, I'm hoping that that it'll last me <laughs> anyway I'm liking I'm really liking it I think it's very pretty the uh, border I'm going to use is a Pico shell border that I've been telling you about I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on it I got permission by the designer I was able to contact her on Facebook and um, she said that that would be fine that I could do a tutorial on the uh, border so I'm just waiting to get this blanket finished so then I can do the tutorial for it so I think it's gonna be very pretty okay so that is works in progress number one uh, works in progress number two is the dash the deer crochet along that I'm working on um, this is a crochet along that I'm, I'm hosting it's a Jess Huff pattern and um, I have quite a few people that are following along with me uh, doing the crochet along with me so that's a real exciting I think everybody's having a great time doing it I know that I am uh, I just finished part three of the um, the crochet along I kind of divided it into sections on what you create like for each week and so here is my progress on dash the deer uh, part one was the nose uh, that you change then you change colors into the head head colors and then the little trim around the face that was part one part two we had to do the ears the antlers and attach them okay so part three is what people are working on this week and that is the body and the belly patch and get the, those attached uh, in the instructions she does have the assembly being it well you you do the head but then after you do the head and get the pieces assembled onto the head the rest of it you do all the pieces and then assemble them at the end I like to kind of assemble as I go because I don't really care to uh, sew pieces together it's not my favorite thing to do and so I'm uh, and it's fun to kind of see your your character that you're doing your little animal or whatever it is uh, taking form and and coming to life so to speak and so anyway um, I think we're gonna have one more week uh, one more week next week when we will we will be able to finish him off and so um, so there is my dash the deer and I will link in the description box below um, my videos uh, that I uh, what I did is I didn't do a full tutorial because it's not my pattern but what I did was I did an introduction video and then I did um, I'm like a week ahead of everybody so that way I can do the parts and if I feel like there's any tips or anything that I need to share uh, mainly for the benefit of people that have not made amigurumis before and so uh, anything that I can kind of share or help or show how I sewed the pieces on or whatever I do that and I release that on Mondays uh, for that upcoming assignment and so I think it's working out well uh, once this crochet along is finished I will ask for people's uh, feedback as far as how they think it went and what maybe we may do it something uh, when we do another one I'm hoping to do another one um, that we will do it differently somehow but anyway there you go <laughs> I think it's really cute and I'm really having fun doing it okay so that is works in progress number two now works in progress number three is another one of the characters from the Rudolph the, the Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer crochet kit that I purchased off of Amazon it came in the box that looked like this and in the box there was enough yarn to make Santa and Rudolph okay and uh, but there's a crochet book right here pattern book that came in the box and it has 12 patterns and it's to make all of these characters here so those six right there okay and those six right here but like I said there's only yarn to make Santa and Rudolph these two and so then you have to supply your own yarn but you have the patterns and so I've been using and, and it's a very small yarn it's like a baby type weight yarn or number three weight uh, but, but a light number three and so what I've been able to do so far is to pick yarns 
colors out of some uh, leftover mandala cakes and lime bran cupcakes and different ones and some baby yarn that was size three yarns and I was able to find so far I've been able to find the colors that I need so that's good okay so what I've decided to do or I've been doing this year is to do I want to do all 12 characters and I want to have them ready for Christmas as decor items and so I decided there's 12 of them so I was thought well I'll do one per month and it'll be a year-long project and so um, so far I have done six characters from uh, January to June and I do, I do believe I have a picture I, yeah I have a picture that I can pop in here and you can see the six characters that I have so far okay um, so here's the picture of that <laughs> Okay, so for this month, I am working on Yukon Cornelius, so this character right there, okay? And I just started him, and I will show you the progress so far that I have of him. I just have his uh, feet and uh, his body, and I'm working on getting, I'm get, kind of closing this up, and then I will attach the skin color for the head, and I will be doing his head. Um, and that's like all, well, th these two pieces, the, the two legs were separate, and then you unite them together as you go up the body, okay? So there he is so far. <laughs> this blue, I was able to get out of um, some leftovers of some, um, I believe, no. I was about to say this was Lion Brand, uh, yeah, Lion Brand Cupcake, but it's not. Uh, last, uh, last my last month that I did the snowman I needed a green and the greens that I had in that weight yarn was not the right color green I'm looking for it anyway um, and so what I ended up doing is I went to the yarns uh, Joann's and I the only green that I could find was in this cake of Woolies uh, DK cake it's called and the colorway is meadow and I've already taken that part out but there was a, a meadow type green that I was able to use well there's also in the middle of that <laughs> there was a I think it's this now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm thinking that I did take this out of here, but I'm not now. I'm not positive, so I'm not sure. I, th I think that's where it came from. I think it was in this cake. If it wasn't, <laughs> then it came from a lime brand cupcake in the pot of gold color. But I'm looking at something I made with it over there, and I don't think so. I think this came out of this Woolies cake. I think. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, like I said, so far I have been able to find the colors that I need for all these characters. Um, it's been, you know, a little bit, the only, well, only that green I was had a little bit of trouble l locating, but I found it. <laughs> okay, so that's my uh, progress on Yukon. I'm not sure, as you can see, he's got kind of a red-orange uh, beard and mustache, and I'm not sure, I'm believing, I think I'm... I'm I've got it in a, one of the cakes back there that I'll just have to pull a section out in order to do that. Um, I think so. So we'll see what color I come up with. Hopefully I can match that pretty well. Okay, so this has been a very fun kit. I really enjoy putting, uh, been making it. Uh, I know the, the pieces are very small, but the instructions are, are fairly easy. And it, you know, if you've made amigurumi before, um, and even sewing on the pieces and things is not really that been that difficult to do. So, if you're interested in finding a crochet kit uh, like this, they do have other. They have Frosty the Snowman. If you remember that old um, cartoon show, it used to go along with this one. I think kind of the same era. They have characters from that. I may end up getting that sometime. Uh, somebody was telling me they had a Peanuts set like Charlie Brown, and I thought that would be super cute to make. In fact, I looked it up and I saw it. I might end up getting it. I don't know yet. But anyway, it's super cute. And of course, they have Star Wars characters and Disney characters and different ones. But anyway, I will link this one a link to where you can find it on Amazon uh, in the description box below. Okay? Okay enough of the, about that. <laughs> so I have one more works in progress that is the uh, preemie hat number three for my goal for the month and this is so far is what I've gotten done on it so 
what so far <laughs> and this is um, some type of uh, I don't know what they call it I don't have the band on it but it's like Bernat softy baby uh, something that I picked up and then I never used any of it and so what I'm going to be doing with this one um, is this is the beginning of a um, it's another one of the little little baby animal hats like I did the frog uh, the same it's actually come from a doll but I thought that it would be a perfect uh, size for a preemie hat and so uh, I will link the link to that pattern below in the description box because there was like four characters there was a, a a tiger hat, a frog hat, a bear hat, and the puppy hat. So this is going to be the puppy hat. And I have some brown that I picked out. A couple of different shades of brown that came out of some mandala cakes. I really like this one. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough to make the ears. I might try to play yarn chicken with it and see if I can get two ears out of this. But I don't know. I don't have very much of it. Otherwise, I have this one I picked out, which is kind of a grayish, brownish. And then this one also that possibly would work okay with the ears. So, we'll see. Um, so, anyway, that's what I'm working on so far. I'm using a 3 millimeter hook with this, making it, trying to make it very small. And um, this is a 3 weight yarn. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, I will post a link to these patterns for those in the description box below as well. Uh, the little dolls that you make, that actually what these are for, are very cute also. So I may end up making those sometime also. They're really cute. Okay, that is all my works in progress. Okay, so let's go on to upcoming. So upcoming, I, I still haven't done the... Um, happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge that Christy of Tea Doddles and Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy is hosting for each month. I haven't done the one for this month yet. The theme for this month is beach. And so um, I was looking and I found, oh, I found a wreath that was really cute. Wreath pattern like the one I did for the 4th of July. Very cute. And I might end up doing that just to have it as another decor in here. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> but I don't think I'll do it for particularly for this challenge because I don't have the wreath. I'd have to get the wreath. It takes a 12 inch styrofoam, styrofoam wreath form. And, um, uh, well, I'll show, I'll put a picture in right here so you can see it, but it's so cute. So take a look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Uh, I was I was thinking that would be such a cute little project. I don't know if I would write in Life's a Beach on there. Maybe. But the way you have to... It looks like the way you have to do it is you, you like... I don't know how you do it. You, you have to do it. It's in cursive. But it doesn't look like it's stitched. I'm not sure how the letters are attached. <laughs> but even without the letters, I was thinking even at the bottom, if you, if you didn't put beach, you could just put um, some tiny little... Um, crocheted like seashells and starfish and different things like that that would be cute and then at the top instead of the letters maybe do a sun or something and attach I thought that would be cute but anyway I might eventually do that because I thought that was such a cute project and it is free on the on the website I will post it below also but anyway for my beach project I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do that for that challenge but um, I have an idea of a couple other things I may be doing to enter into that anyway. So, I haven't done it yet, but I, I need to go ahead and start on it <laughs> if I'm going to. Okay, and so yesterday I did a video. It was a Whipwall Wednesday episode number 12. And so that's actually another works in progress because I'm working on that project. Uh, but I'm showing my progress on it in that series of videos. And so um, I will link that. Uh, episode number 12 below so that way you can check it out and see what I'm working on um, for that project um, so let's see what else so that's also upcoming oh and then I went to the post office yesterday and I got a ha I got another box of happy mail well it's it was a combination happy mail box but also there was some uh, a dear viewer uh, sent me some Premie hats to donate or to put along with my donation to go to my the Halloween hat right well hers are not character hats they're just basic preemie hats but they're they're darling little hats she did a great job on them so I will show you that but then also in the box she she also um, sent me 
some happy mail so I'll, I'll show you what she sent me it's awesome uh, so I'll be doing an extra video on happy mail video on that I may do it like the last time I did a happy mail video combination yarn haul because I did order some yarn uh, I, I, well I purchased some yarn from Ooh Ah Crochet, which is Amber. She uh, had acquired some yarn, and some of it was a pretty good amount of DK yarn, which is the number three, but not in baby colors. And I was thinking some of them would be good to have on hand for some of these amigurumis that take, you know, the small yarn, but you need basic colors. You don't need baby pastel colors. And so I bought a um, a box, a box of. Uh, small box of yarn from her and so it's on its way have hasn't got here yet so I may wait until it gets here and that way I'll do combination yarn haul and then the happy mail box okay um, but anyway be looking for that okay and I think that is it for the moment <laughs> um, so thanks guys I thank you so much for the new subscribers that I've had uh, welcome to my channel and thank you for those that have stayed with me for from the beginning I appreciate it so much uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so so that way you can follow me along on my yarny event adventures <laughs> uh, with all the different projects and things I try to do a variety of different different items um, and also I've been doing some tutorials as well Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, and if you're on Facebook, come over to our Facebook group. It's just called Yarn Joy Podcast. And um, join us over there so that way you can post pictures of the things that you're working on so we can all look and see see it, your projects. Uh, it's always fun to um, look at everybody else's work and get ideas and share tips with each other and uh, maybe links that we think might be of interest to other members of the group so we'll post things like that in there also so it's a very fun group and I'm enjoying um, I'm enjoying it <laughs> and uh, just like I said I love interacting with with uh, all of you <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video bye guys